Hi everyone, let's practice the use of present simple and present continuous in a simple text. Present simple is used uh, for regular action, general fact, in a negative statement, scheduled event, uh, or in questions. Present continuous is used when action is happening at the moment, uh, when it's a temporary action, negative action happening now, uh, question about temporary action of the question about current action or we, when the action is in progress at a certain time. Here's the text, a day in Emily's life. Emily in a small town near the mountain. Emily lives in a small town near the mountain. Uh, we use uh, ending S because Emily is a third person singular and she lives in a small town near the mountains. Lives shows uh, a general fact. Every day she wakes up. So we have here the adverb every day and also it shows a general fact and the regular action early in the morning to go for a jog. While she jog, she usually to her favorite music. With while I will use present continuous because it's an action happening in progress at a certain time. While she is jogging and I will also use a double G here uh, because the jog uh, has a short vowel and there's a consonant and when it's a short vowel and a consonant at the end we have to double the consonant. She usually listens, again we're going to use S because it's a third person singular, to her favorite music and it shows uh, the regular action and there's also the ad adverb usually. After her jog she a quick shower she takes a quick shower it's a present simple because again it's a regular action and has breakfast with her family and it's the irregular verb have which has a form has for third person singular today however she is not jogging because it is raining Sorry, you can't see it. Raining heavily outside. So we're going to use two verbs, jogging and raining in present simple, because it shows the action and progress at a certain time. Emily as a teacher in a local school. So we're going to use, because it's a general fact, so we will use present simple. Emily works, again, don't forget the ending S, it's a third person singular, as a teacher in a local school. Again, another action which shows the um, uh, general fact, she teaches English to young children. So here, because it ends, uh, we, uh, we have to add the uh, ES, teaches English to young children. Uh, for the purpose of easy pronunciation, we have to do ES. And it's a um, uh, uh, general fact or regular action. At the moment, it's a, we can see that at the moment it's a adverb for showing something happening at a specific moment. She is preparing, preparing. So we're going, we're using present continuous to show the action happening at the moment of speaking, a fun activity for her students. And don't forget prepare ends in E. When we add ending I and G, we have to remove E. The children her classes because they're always interesting and engaging. So this is uh, the uh, general fact. We will use present simple. Oh, sorry. The children love her classes because they're always interesting and engaging. Children is plural. It means they. We don't use as. Okay. Uh, ending as uh, for the verb love. Right now, Emily, and you can see right now, it means uh, the action is happening at the moment of speaking. And we're going to use again present continuous is sitting and because it's a short vowel i and t at the end we have to double t when we add i and g in her classroom and emily is sitting and organizing organizing so when we add i and g we remove e we don't have to repeat e's again some new materials for the next lesson she hopes so we add ending s uh, the weather improves so it's a fact, third person singular, so she can take the children outside for a nature work later. Thanks for watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe and uh, study the